There has never been a point in my lifetime, ladies and gentlemen, where homeschooling looks as appealing as it does right now. And I don't even have kids, so I can't imagine how some parents must be feeling during these times, right? Because what we're seeing collectively together is this rise in progressive teachers being inserted into the classrooms and then they're inserting their worldviews, their ideologies onto students regardless of their age. And that is concerning a lot of people. I think we can all agree the education system needs a revamp right from top to bottom. But I think we can also agree we would rather have kids, students learn actual beneficial things than things like, I don't know, pronouns and how important they are and how great it is to be non-binary because those things don't need to be in the classroom. Those things don't need to be taught to students, to young kids. I understand there are amazing teachers out there. We all know this, right? It's just a shame those amazing teachers don't get the attention they deserve, partly because I don't think they're looking for it, right? And that's what these teachers are that post these videos about everything they're teaching in the classroom that is so stunning, so brave. They are attention seekers, insecure attention seekers. They need everybody to see what they're teaching the kids. Let's go, guys. It's stunning. They need everybody to be depressed. They need everybody to live their miserable lives. They need everybody to be in the pit. Because what scares them the most is students growing up with a different worldview because that hinders all of these progressive movements. And I'm so glad, you know, there are teachers out there telling kids the truth, the reality, which is their own reality, which by the way, doesn't exist. Because when kids come up to them and ask them, what gender can I be? Well, this is their response. So here's a talk with a student that I had that makes me happy that I teach kindergarten. So we're walking back from a nature walk because my job is cool. And one of my students stops in line and turns around because I was at the end playing caboose. And he says, Mr. Cow, do you think I'm a boy or a girl? I paused and I said, student, I don't get to decide if you're a boy or a girl. Only you get to decide if you're a boy or a girl. So what do you think? And he sits and he looks contemplative for a second. And then he looks at me and he says, I'm a boy. And I said, excellent news, thanks for letting me know. What is interesting to me, and I don't know if you've recognized this with all the teachers we tend to react to, they post these videos like it's a badge of honor, like it's a trophy, like it's an achievement, that somebody from their classroom has done something that is so stunning, so brave, so progressive. It's very weird how those things work. I'm also concerned why this boy felt so compelled to come up to you and ask you, what gender am I? Because I would love to know what you're teaching in your classrooms. I think there may be some correlation there, right? Do the parents know what's going on in your classroom? Probably not, because in a lot of cases, these teachers like to hide these conversations from the parents because they're scared of the unjustified reaction from the parents. Because no, 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 these kids need to be taught all of this stuff, leave them alone. This is also causing division within households, right? Kids get, kids get taught this stuff, they go home, and they tell their parents they're a different gender because their teacher says it's okay to do so. We're in a very scary time. I, I, I don't like to be doom and gloom, but this is very scary, right? If kids are being taught this stuff, where do we go from here? Because it seems like nobody wants to do anything. In a lot of cases, people advocate for this stuff to be taught. Ah, I'm just going to go in circles if I keep going on. But most of the time, when we react to these videos, it's always the teachers, right? It's always the teachers doing these sort of things. We don't really talk about the students. So here we have a video of a student who has just left a classroom. They go home, they make a video, and they tell everybody. Get this. Their professor told them that being an American citizen now is a racialized term because it's associated with whiteness and white supremacy. This is what people are teaching students. And of course they agree. Take a listen. I just got out of a lecture and my professor said something that really struck me that I feel like should have been super obvious that I just had not like connected the dots on before. And that is the fact that the term American citizen is like a racialized term. It's associated with whiteness, whether we want it to or not. Because of the way that white supremacy is so like intricately bound with the foundation of the country that we call America, that when you hear the word American citizen, the first thing that comes to mind is a white person. And what's crazy is I have this super vivid memory when I was only like maybe like five or six years old, 
my mom was just about to get her citizenship and she was like, yo, yo, I'm going to be an American citizen. And I was like freaking out because I fully thought that my mother was going to turn into a white woman. And obviously she didn't, but it's just crazy to me how at such a young age, I already was conditioned to think that American citizen meant white by default. I'm not even American and this hurts me. Being an American citizen is now associated with whiteness. It's a racialized term. I cannot believe the fact this student, which I think is a girl, I don't want to assume, don't want to be disrespectful, was scared of their parent being white. There are so many people out there in this world that would love to be an American citizen. People in other countries dream of becoming an American citizen. So what you're saying to them is, no, 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 don't, don't. Stay in your country because otherwise you love white supremacy, you're racist, and you just love whiteness. It's really funny, right? When I see people complaining about the racism in their countries, right, and how unprogressive it actually is, they never leave. And I speak for the professor reaffirming these beliefs to that student and the students in the classroom. If your country is so bad, so evil, why don't you leave? It's funny how that also works, isn't it? But the professor told that worldview to that student. That student then felt compelled to make a video, which is why I'm here today, in this video. Because unless that professor didn't say that, I would not be here right now. And this is what they're teaching to the populace. They are teaching students to be confused about your gender. Your country is evil, it's racist. Anything patriotic now is not great, it's actually bad. Is it any wonder we're in the state we're in? The next five to 10 years are, very, are gonna be very pivotal, right? Because if things do not change, as I always say, is it not gonna get worse? And I feel quite glad that in England, right now in the UK, it's not really a concern for us, right? I know it will become one, but I'm glad it isn't right now. And I hope these videos can raise some sort of awareness in this country, so when it does happen, people can pick up on it straight away and stop it and nip it in the bud. This cultural war we're all in because we're all in it. It's hurting everybody. The progressive left think it's helping them, right? They're winning. Oh yeah, no, it's actually harming them as well because this doesn't end the way people think it does. Because apparently teachers just have to come in and tell the kids all of these political agendas. They can't leave them at home and the sun's out right now. And when the sun comes out in my videos, God agrees. Just teach kids the basics. Allow them to adopt their own worldviews. Don't force them. Don't push your worldviews onto them. Leave the kids alone. Maybe I'm the one in the wrong. Maybe I'm over-exaggerating, as many people like to tell me. What do you guys think? If you have enjoyed today's video, then please, for me, make sure to leave a like rating. If you're new, hit that big red subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video. But until next time, it has been your boy JD. Please, for me, make sure to always, always have a great day and stay safe. I'm out. Peace.